1. Failure to file and taxes owed. Filing any document with the IRS is a voluntary act that overrides your Fifth Amendment protection against witnessing against yourself, nor being deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. 19. Know that there are two separate entities, the Internal Revenue and the Internal Revenue Service working together in concert. The Internal Revenue is an agency of the government of the United States, and the Internal Revenue Service is a collection agency for the non-federal Federal Reserve Bank. So when the IRS charges someone with willful failure to file, they are actually billing the victim for an income tax that the victim may or may not actually owe. It's a presumption that needs to be quickly rebutted by the targeted victim. The victim usually tries to fight the charge using the Constitution and or Title 26 of the Income Tax Code without ever requesting a verified assessment of the debt under Title 15 of the Fair Debt Collections Practices Act. This gives the IRS the ability to be granted a nihil disadjudgment, judgment, a no-response judgment. Silence is agreement in United States District Court against the victim, making the bill a lawful bill. 87. Or play the game. Once the bill is adjudged to be lawful, based on the pre assumption of a debt, the IRS gets to claim that the victim is fraudulently refusing to pay a legal debt and thereby con verts the debt into a presumed criminal act. If first you ask them to verify the so called debt under Title 15, it forces them to deal with you as the real person, not the corporate entity known as the straw man. They have no jurisdiction over you from that point on, as the real person, and you are then dealing with the IRS agent himself and not the entire IRS corporation. Respond to the case under Title 15 of the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, and IRS agents have no jurisdiction over you, and the judge will treat them as they are, a collection agency, and not a government entity. If you fight the case under Title 26 of the Income Tax Code, the judge will think that you're crazy, but won't tell you why because Title 26 has nothing to do with the IRS. It's specifically for the intern. Revenue instead. 2. Tax Lien List is now Notice of Lien List From the June 1999 Idaho Observer Stevens County, Wash Alters Lien Language Auditor Tax Lien List becomes Notice of Lien List Colville on March 30, 1999 Jim Shaver and a group of constitutionally concerned Stephen County residents presented testimony before the county's Board of Commissioners in an effort to change the language of the county's list of more than 2,000 IRS liens. The Stevens County Commissioners responded May 11, 1999, by advising Shaver by letter that the board and the auditor have read the materials you submitted and consulted with the county's legal advisor. It is our joint decision to change the current tax lien index to a notice of lien index. This change has been implemented. Stevens is a county of 38,000 people. The IRS has placed liens on properties that would affect the lives of at least 19% of county residents. The largest business in the world today, the IRS, makes Microsoft look like a lemonade stand. The largest fiscal activity in the world today is the pillage and plunder of the American people, Shaver explained to his commissioners. Shaver went on to explain how the IRS, an agency that has been proven to be illegal, unconstitutional, and 89, learned to play the game. 1. Failure to file and taxes owed. Filing any document with the IRS is a voluntary act that overrides your Fifth Amendment. Which incessantly terrorizes innocent people in a manner that is totally lawless and discompassionate, has transferred all liability for his illegal property seizures over to county governments across the country. The liability has been placed particularly upon the shoulders of the county auditor and the sheriff because the liens constitute unprosecuted securities frauds, according to Shaver. Shaver, who has been studying the IRS use of this mechanism since the early 1990s, explained how the federal collection agency, the IRS, uses the ignorance of county officials to create a seemingly negotiable instrument out of thin air. The IRS uses the county to obey a state statute, RCW 60.68, that compels a county auditor to file a notice of lien in an alphabetical tax lien list. The IRS will contact the county auditor and direct him to add a name to the county's lien index. Once an alleged lien has been added to the lien index, 
The next day the IRS agent can come in and say give me a certified copy of the lien index then he has proof of a spendable instrument. Go out and pillage and plunder property, explained. Shaver, according to Shaver, such an arrangement constitutes a securities fraud. The IRS is guilty of nothing because all it did was secure a certified copy of something that was obviously accomplished by the county auditor under state law when the lien was recorded, probably with a phone call. From the certified copy of the lien index, the IRS then creates a fraudulently derived notice of levy that is presented to the local sheriff. The local sheriff is then told to seize the people's property, and the sheriff then, dutifully, seizes the property and arranges to put the property up for auction. What the sheriff doesn't realize is that he is working from a notice. He is working from an unperfected instrument. He is working from a securities fraud, Shaver said. Shaver is committed to shutting the fraud down. To prove to the county commissioners that IRS tactics are indeed born in fraud, he explained how county officials should address IRS agents. Okay, Mr. IRS agent, in the past you have induced us into fraud that we won't be a part of anymore. Now first we'll need your delegation of authority from the Secretary of the Treasury of the United States of America to perform the assessment in the first place. Then we want your affidavit, signed and true, correct and complete, under penalties of perjury, that this person owes something, and whatever that amount might be. I don't think that they will be around because the whole thing